Hello everyone and welcome back to another Grain Man Travels adventure and today we're on a new mod map called Plegni. Now I think that's the right pronunciation. So this is actually the last map that I have got to uh, tour which was released while I was on holiday. So well, hey, I've caught back up again once everybody's watched this one. So I think I really have left the best map till last. So this might be visually probably the most impressive map that's ever been released for FS22 so far. It has been released by MA7 Studios, who did Castle Nord, and that was incredible. I actually think this probably is at least as good, maybe better. So let's run through some of the information. So this map is cross-platform compatible. So PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and the Xbox series of consoles. It was actually released on the 4th of the 4th, 2024. It's on a version 1.0.0.0. It's 813.35 megabytes download. And as I said previously, it was put together by a really impressive mod and map making house called MA7 Studios. If you've not seen their other creations, then please go ahead and look at the Castle North video that I did. And also they have released some mods and buildings onto Mod Hub, which also are immensely impressive. So We've got a little bit of information to run through. So it says, Welcome to French, L French Lorraine. Shared between agricultural plains and wooded groves. Rediscover agriculture, livestock and forestry. This map consists of two typical farms of the region. One in an old farmhouse with modern extensions. The other a large agricultural building perched on a mountainside. Now, I can't find the second farm perched on a mountainside so far. So if anybody knows where it is, then please let me know in the comments. Numerous new factories are available. A completely new village gathers points of sale, farms and production facilities. The map consists of 86 fields of crops, about 10 forest plots and a stream called the Duboin. I think that's right. Several innovations come with this map. The roofs of the houses get wet during rain, which is absolutely incre incredible. Roads get wet, they dry and they frost over in winter, so that's cool. There's also puddles of water in certain fields. Some factories have new functions like the sawmill or mills. We'll probably check those out. Two new agricultural cooperatives. New crops such as mustard, triticale and alfalfa. A crane for transporting wood to the sawmill or to the Fre Fredos Centre. An area to build your own farm. Cheese production directly on your farm or in the communal dairy. That's pretty cool. A secret quest about the history of a funny animal from the Vosges. It's unusual. And a whole multitude of new decals like the mechanic, the class dealership, the livestock trader, and the water tower. Now I think that means new models that they put together for this map. So the card works with the FS22 manure system as well. So like I said though, this is probably visually the most impressive map around at this moment in time. So. Let's get our feet firmly back down on the ground, have a quick look at our starting farm and our starting equipment. So as you can see, we don't start with an awful lot of equipment, but quite quite nice bits of equipment. So we start with a Case Maxim CVX-115 and a Class Aryan 660, Russell Math Harvester, the uh, Cars and the uh, Lizard Pickup of 1986, Carrot Trailer, the header for the Russell Math, an Agrimash Plow, a uh, Cultivator from Lemkin, I think I said that was Rab before, but it's a Lemkin one. That's the Power Harrow and the Cedar to go with it. A Breedal Fertilizer Spreader, a Rear Mower, a Wind Rower, a Baler, a Farm Tech Bale Loader. That one does go a bit weird as well when you use it. Um, a Front Loader and some Front Loader tools. So a Grapple, a Bucket and a Bale Spike. And finally a Weight. So pretty impressive. No leased items and no map or mod specific vehicles or items either. Now our starting farm this is where it gets visually impressive the buildings are yeah incredible the levels of texturing and the levels of detail on these buildings are exactly what ma7 do like just as normal really they are absolutely fantastic this is the uh, farm that is basically supposed to be an old farm because you've got the old farmhouse at the front here if you look over the front that one there la femme saint louche but obviously as you go through, it's been expanded and extended with newer buildings at the back. And we've got some space there for our equipment. We've got our field here. We've got a bale and pallet storage place here as well where the um, 
we can keep our nice bound palette but they've built that into a nice model we've got our some storage areas here a couple of nice um, very nice um, solids pits we've got lots of levels of detail like the the bit of the uh, rubber or the plastic that you put on top is draped over the side same with that this one over here as well look at that fantastic just the levels of detail though fantastic really make this feel like it's a really immersive farm environment we've got cow barn here so we've got manure pit here i'm guessing probably we've got a uh, slurry there as well slurry tank just yeah absolutely amazing really how good this is got nice can we go that way and the gate this goes out onto our paddock land so we've got a bit of uh, rough paddock land here as well which i'm guessing your cows will go out of again just yeah absolutely incredible levels of detail models are fantastic texturing is superb in my opinion so yeah really really impressive go through here we've got a silo here as well grain silo another place there for our other side of the uh, storage area our house is here yes indeed and our sleep triggers there go past this veranda we've got some of our more equipment etc so all really nicely put together very nicely done you know really nice quite compact but i just think it, it this does have a really nice feeling to it as well so absolutely fantastic job as always by ma7 so pda when we come to where we start and what we own so we start in farmland 103 that encompasses this bit of paddock land our main farm and also this field here 99 so you can see i'm flashing there and then we'll start with farm or farm land 20 19 21 25 9 71 90 and 92 so quite a lot but quite a bit of that is grassland but that's never a bad thing because i know a lot of people enjoy doing the grass so that's good so yeah very very impressive crop calendar wise it hasn't actually been changed in regards to the calendar geo so the geo still seems the same but it's been added triticale alfalfa spelt and mustard mustard definitely has a very short um, planting season right in the middle of your harvesting season so that's an interesting uh, one to uh, get used to and very similar to spelt as well very short harvest but quite a bit bigger planting so all good now when it comes to selling things everything sells on this map in multiple places including the uh, the new bits and bobs of productions and fruits so if you're going down as you can see most stuff does sell to just take doesn't last normal alfalfa alfalfa hay triticale spelt and old style mustard um, all sell plus vegetable milk and also wood frame so that's a new one both pretty cool pretty cool animals wise we've got a chicken pasture and a cow barn so i don't think that's going to take too hard to find is it really cow barns 110 head chicken pasture i'm going to take a guess it's here is a 30 and we start with some as well and the eggs spawn there we can then go out onto the front into the village very very picturesque very very pretty it will be quite fun getting a trailer in here and tipping so i'd probably recommend a side tipping trailer for that but uh, apart from that very good contracts wise there is i think it said there was 86 uh, fields of crops so hopefully should be pretty healthy when it comes to productions Field 76 there is £10,000 for harvesting, then we've got spelt there for three, so not too bad at all. Productions, we start with our own farm cheeses, which is pretty cool. So you can put um, milk, flour, sugar, eggs, butter, strawberries and mustard in, and you'll then be able to create butter, cheese, bread, cake and old style mustard. So that's pretty cool in my opinion and pretty nice. Nice to have a, a new type of production straight on your farm with the old style mustard. I do like that. That's pretty, pretty, pretty nice indeed. So the actual uh, production is here. So in your main farm, you can bring stuff here and then it's actually here. And it's got a little shop at the front with nice decorative items in, etc. Opening door, animation. And there we are. Fromage Femmes. So right next to where your front of your farm is so absolutely fantastic in my opinion not not bad at all right so pda wise again i'll keep zoomed out and don't move around too much so as you can see pda is yeah 
very nicely done actually you can see the main river runs through the middle with a couple of tributaries off to the top left lots and lots of roads and tracks to get round so that's really nice as you go further up north it gives a bit more mountainous and a bit more hilly but yeah um, fields are definitely random um, probably a bit square in their angles um, I would say but um, yeah apart from that really nicely done lots of different shapes lots of different sizes yeah I'm very much bowled over by this map I thought Moss Valley was a good map but this one I think has probably taken the uh, crown recently of uh, one of the best maps I've ever seen off Modhub I would say it's nearly nearly as good as Italia Emilia um, but I'm not sure it's quite there yet it's not quite as good I think it's missing a few little bits compared to Castle Nord actually when you run around Castle Nord had a few more impressive bits and bobs to it but this is still probably one of the best visually impressive um, maps you can get at the moment on uh, Mod Hub. So let's have a quick look at our uh, productions and sell points. So Water Tower there, which is one of the custom models. Silo for Lime, Landscaper, Liquid Fertilizer Tank, Carpentry, uh, ISO Straw, Firewood, Koki Express, Bakery, and we've got a farm there. But I think to the right here we have, let's do these quickly. That'll be a train. City of Epinal and the sawmill, which I think has got a special crane on it, I believe. Uh, vehicle shop and Vosges Cooperative. So I guess that's like a uh, farming cooperative you can take your bits and bobs to. I think we've done this one already. Oh no, St. Fremy's Mill. So like a sawmill again, I think. What have we got here? We've got the well, free water, then hopefully. We have got the vehicle workshop, we've got a gas station, we've got a dairy, so that's nice. We can uh, also do your bits and bobs. Uh, Fred Toddis, Rent Train, Fred Toddis, City of Epinal, so that's your train again. At the top here, we've got the animal dealer, the animal dealer, and we, we've got here we've got the souffle agriculture, very nice, and I think that is about it. So, not bad at all. Not a massive amount of productions and sell points, but enough to keep you busy and enough to keep you going, so can't fault that. Um, what are we going to take? Yeah, come on then. Let's take the Lizard pickup from 1986. It's a shame MA7 couldn't potentially get permission for someone else to use like a, like a 2CV or something to make it properly quintessentially French with a vehicle like that. So we are there. If we go right, I think, go up here, yeah, okay, so we go right, it's still massively, mightily impressive, look at the roads though, really nice size, lots of levels of detail, speed bump here, look at the town, the buildings are fantastic, I think these are very similar buildings to what I was using Castle Nord, just, yeah, I mean it's got loads of levels of detail, the texturing of the road, the texturing of everywhere is yeah very 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 impressive so nice outlook as well over there look at that lovely rolling hills valley down with a with a viaduct or the aqueduct there you have got class dealership here now there's some tractors and equipment there which you can actually get into so i'm not sure if that just needs to be fixed in an update or if it's that's how it's designed to be so you can go there and borrow the equipment for free probably need to set that so it's not part of farm id one that you can use it but um yeah apart from that very impressive let's probably go this way i think so um yeah over the river nice bridge here underneath a big viaduct i mean look at the fields absolutely fantastic really is a fantastic looking map cannot fault how much attention to detail has been put into this really is fantastic probably one of those maps where you'd probably want to play nice and slowly on your own just to enjoy the whole surroundings. I know I did when I played Italia Emilia. What a fantastic time I had on that map. It really was probably my, I'd say probably the best time I ever had playing on FS22 on that map because it's such a pretty beautiful map. And uh, this one really is very, very close to it, I must admit. So let's just go around here a bit more. So we'll probably drop off just up here and have a look at our field prices in a minute. But I'm very much enjoying the drive around this French countryside. Just so 
very, very pretty. Look at that. That view over there is absolutely incredible. It really is. Well, I'm going to have to pull over here, I think, just to get over, just to keep a look at that lovely view. So let's have a look at our field prices. So I want to expand around here. 16 is 53, 15 is 58, 160, very nice. Over here probably, 86, 89, 98. What about 87? Because 87 and 86 I think are probably a place where you can build your own farm. 86, 197, 87, 110. If you sold 100, okay, so if you had sold 103, 948,000, wow. So big fields at the top here, 608,000, 365, that's probably the biggest field on the map, 25 acres, 29 looks pretty big, 541 not quite as big, 90, so not bad. So pretty good field prices and fantastic layout of fields. I mean, this map visually is absolutely incredible. It really is. I'm not quite sure it's as good as Castle Nord personally. Not quite as good as Italia Emilia, but it is massively up there. It's probably my top three for um, just visually how it looks and the amount of levels of detail. So hopefully you have enjoyed this map tour. If you have, give it a like, subscribe to the Greyman channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Many thanks for watching.